headed up to Portland on a road trip, which is super exciting. And I just wanted to say hello. Um, we've been driving for a couple of hours and the road is pretty clear. I guess the only thing we really need to do soon is stop for gas. Yep. And then we will continue we're, we're almost exiting California. Uh, well, kind of. We pa we just passed Shasta. Um, so we're heading towards Eureka, and then we will have crossed into Oregon. Yeah. Part of me wants to wait till we're in Oregon so they can just pump our gas, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to get have it through Shasta. Should we see if we can get stuck in the mountains? That'd be a fun adventure. Lunch time at the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! Yay. How much is this gonna cost? Let's guess. Forty-eight dollars. You're kidding. Maybe more. What? Forty-two dollars. So we just arrived and this is our cute little space. It's like a two-story little Airbnb. So those are the stairs like down there. So you come in on the bottom and this and is. And now we have our little dining set up here and we're about to eat. significant damage and we've had enough thank you and what is your review delicious it was there was so much going on there was coconut like marinated rice that was super flavorful there was in mine there were like marinated tofus but then also these like corn patty things there was a whole curry with vegetables there was a coleslaw, there was avocado. There was just so much and it was so hearty. And like, honestly, considering that you could buy one of these and have two people eat it. Yeah. And considering that there was like five dishes in that bowl, delicious. And also just so, I think it's a great introduction to Portland cuisine because I feel like Portland is very fusion, hippie, this and that. And this was, I mean, this was definitely vegetarian, could have even been vegan, who knows. And I think true. They did it super well. Ah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's no one out. There's no one. It's Kira. Literally. Try this bite. Me. Salt and straw ice cream. Good morning. We are here with our oatmeal and we're just finishing up our breakfast and then we are going to um, pick up a couple of treats for us to enjoy with my friend Lynn outside of her house. We're gonna go pick up some donuts and bring her coffee. So, right now we're staying east of the river, so then we're gonna go over to the other side of the river and explore there. Thank you. I would always be the one oh my gosh, tell me how it is though. I will try my very best to always be <laughs> <So much> <laughs> there And the stars and moon and sun would all align And for a million years and more I'd make you mine Cause oh Look at 
all the beautiful roses. dead roses. So fun, just exploring the rose garden. No one's here. Sands roses. No roses, but it's still pretty. Lots of trees. Little urban walk. pretty busy day today and Kira and I got kind of hungry and it's also very cold outside so we spent a lot of time deciding what we wanted to do for dinner yes. but we did figure it out good news um and we're going to have some Korean food which we're gonna pick up soon and we're probably gonna pick it up eat it back at our place and then walk around a bit planning on heading out now to oh my gosh um to some other cool streets it's gonna and be so cool Malia's go not? and then Malia's gonna try to convince me that she deserves more ice cream so what you will see how it goes ice we cream got the part two it's a uh, Chocolate cookie, cookie yeah. dough and chocolate gooey brownie. All right, everyone. So we're about to go out on our night walk um, <laughs> around a fun little neighborhood that here's it's on Mississippi with, Street. On Mississippi Street. And while we were driving to find a parking spot, we noticed that there are many um, millennial white people doing mass gatherings outside. Um, at their brewery. So we're gonna, you know, show a little compilation of them having a great time. Yeah. You know, thank God there isn't a pandemic, right? <laughs> while she's eating with both of her hands. Don't paint me thankless Just have to say this No, you down the way you move Lost in your fragrance Still makes me anxious it Doesn't feel right not knowing you Never show me or tell me the way that you're feeling Feeling Oh I never ask you the questions cause maybe I'm fearing Fearing Oh That's just how it goes Maybe there's parts of you That I'll never know oh. 